What's good everybody? Welcome to Bowler's Paradise. My name is Ben. I'm a USBC Silver Certified Coach and today we are taking a look at the all new Storm Supernova. You know the drill. Here's the numbers on me and on the ball and here's how we laid it out. Before we get started, subscribe to the channel guys. It's free. Why not? Go ahead and hit that notification bell too while you're at it. You got it? All right. Let's go. The Storm Supernova is officially the strongest bowling ball ever produced by Storm products. This piece features the low RG, high differential, and highly asymmetric ignition core, this time wrapped by the strongest cover stock available from Storm, the NEX solid cover at a 2000 grit finish. Now, as always, here comes the disclaimer. If you're looking for a ball that will match up on a lot of conditions, especially house conditions, it is exceptionally rare that these super strong solid ASIMs are that piece. Most often, these pieces are disappointing to those that are seeking the biggest hooking ball they can get, as they tend to be very slow off the spot and boring to the eye. So walking into this, I'll be completely honest. I had low expectations. I tend not to match up with pieces this strong, and the previous pieces I had that featured the NEX cover, I wasn't a fan of at all. But the original Nova was a great piece. I liked mine so much that we decided to put the same layout on the Supernova and see what we had to work with. And once I did, the results were, well, they weren't at all what I was expecting. They were actually worse than my low expectations. This piece was so strong that I simply could not get it to make the right shape. On the outside part of the lane, it looked okay because it didn't have to generate much in the way of angle to get through pins. But as soon as I tried to open up the lane, it would just lose any chance of striking as soon as it got to the end of the pattern. The original Nova on the same pair with the same layout had a much more predictable and easy to use motion. The weaker R2X cover stock allowed the ball to get through the lane and retain some energy to change direction down lane, something the Supernova just seemed to refuse to do. In fact, the only way I could get it up the hill from inside was by throwing it as slow as I could and hitting it as hard as I could. And even still, if it caught any carry down, it just wouldn't do the right thing. So just like the Axiom and the High Road Max before it, the NEX cover and I just aren't made for each other. But to be fair to the ball, I am only one bowler and I have a game that is conducive to other types of reactions. So with that, I really do think the Supernova could be a great piece for a couple different types of bowlers. One is low rev rate players. If you generally don't like moving inside, both on the left side and the right side, but need a new ball to keep up with the higher volumes of oil, the Supernova should do exactly that. The second is players with a lot of tilt. Generally, a lot of tilt in your game means your ball doesn't slow down soon enough and well, the strength of this Supernova is sure to counteract that in droves. So although I didn't match up with it, Storm didn't release the Supernova for it to be a dud for everyone. And if your game is more prone to matching up with the strongest piece ever made in Utah, your results are still likely to be out of this world. And you can pick this up today and much more at bowlersparadise.com. Be sure to use the discount code YouTube at checkout for free shipping. Do want to throw a big shout out to the guys at Striking Edge Pro Shop for the layout and drilling of this piece, as well as to Dale's Weston Lanes for letting us film this video. If you haven't yet, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell for more ball and product reviews. And of course, you guys remember, having the right ball in your hands, now that's a bowler's paradise. Peace.